Well, it's a must for any Beatles fan or fans of rock and roll in general. Author Ken Geringer is in town for a book signing. Jim Hayworth has more on this rock and roll musician turned writer. To be honest with you, it all started one night in 1963. I was sitting transfixed watching our TV when the Beatles hit the stand. And that's when I found something I could pay attention to. And it was music. Music was actually the first language spoken to me that made any sense. And I've just been following my dreams ever since. Ken Geringer is in Eugene promoting his book, Nobody Told Me. He's gone from a kid who was told he'd never amount to anything to a guy who writes of his rich experiences in the music industry, making this book a must read for any rock and roll fan. And ever since I was a kid, I've, I've followed my dreams. And by doing that, by doing just that, I've, I've had a multifaceted career in the record industry. The book tells tales of real characters he's met and worked with along the way, like Jack Douglas, famed producer of John Lennon's comeback album. Geringer's also fought on the front lines of the censorship battles. There's a picture right here of me right before the handcuffs went on because I refused to, uh, to pull the plug on a two live crew concert. And that started a censorship fight, which still rages today. From a 14-year-old runaway to a successful record label owner and happily married father, Geringer's life so far on paper is a fascinating read. And there's something special about his book signings. He describes them as an evening in John Lennon's living room. I'm playing some excerpts from a tape that was John's that has never, ever been heard before. And John, besides music, John actually talks on this tape, and he talks about his Beatle bandmates. He talks about his relationship with Ringo and how he felt about Paul's playing, which I'm not going to give away, but it's not too good. I'm Jim Hayworth in Eugene. Oh boy, not too good, huh? The book signing is tonight at 7 at Barnes & Noble. And you know, Tom, I thought my green jacket would help. It's kind of a tribute today, but um, it didn't work any magic no, today. No, the green jacket uh, was not good luck. <laughs> no luck of the, the green today. Uh, Ducks, another tough one at...